Mohamed Hatta, born on August 12, 1902, in Bukitinggi, West Sumatra, was a pivotal figure in the Indonesian struggle for independence. He played a crucial role in shaping the nation as Indonesia's first vice president and one of its founding fathers. Hatta's early education in Indonesia and the Netherlands instilled in him a strong sense of nationalism and political consciousness. He later studied in Rotterdam, where he met Sukarno, with whom he formed a lasting partnership in the pursuit of independence. Hatta's political career gained momentum during the Japanese occupation of Indonesia in World War II. Although the Japanese aimed to use Indonesia for their own ends, Hatta, along with Sukarno, skillfully navigated these complex circumstances to advance nationalist goals. Together, they proclaimed Indonesia's independence on August 17, 1945. Following independence, Hatta served as the country's first vice president from 1945 to 1956, working alongside President Sukarno. Hatta's contributions extended to economic and social policies, including the establishment of the National Economic Council and the People's Security Agency. Hatta's dedication to democracy and his commitment to a united Indonesia were evident throughout his political career. However, difference in political ideology eventually emerged between Hatta and Sukarno, leading to Hatta's resignation in 1956. After retiring from formal politics, Hatta remained active in intellectual and social circles. He wrote extensively on Indonesian history, economics, and politics. Mohamed Hatta passed away on March 14, 1980, leaving behind a legacy as a statesman and advocate for Indonesia's independence and development.